Hello year two, how are you all? I'm Miss Marwa Aydel, your science teacher, and today we are going to start a new topic. Today we are going to discuss electricity. Are you ready? You know that electricity, we use it every day in our life and enables the machine to do many things. Like I'm going to light up this light pole and make things or cool things down like in the air conditioner and heat things up like the toaster. I'm watching the television also with electricity and listening to music. So, but the questions here will be from where we can get electricity. Electricity is produced in power station. Look to the picture. This is called power station. And the electricity is moved from this power station to the second picture down. This is called what? Wires or power lines or what? Power lines that enter to your home. So I have here the power stations and the power line. It's go to your wall at your home and this is called the socket and I want to make this fan work so I'm going to put the plug in the socket okay so the electricity that come from the wall socket is called mains electricity the electricity that comes from the wall socket is called mains electricity okay Electricity can come from also from batteries. This batteries, you know it? Yes. I'm going to use this battery to turn the torch on to the clock and I'm going to use it in this toy to make it work. So this is what batteries. Okay. So how we can make simple electric circuits? Okay, this is I need something, I need a battery, a wire switch and bulb you know the light bulb i need a copper wire battery and switch this is this is called the simple electric circuits the electric circuits here it's come from the energy come from the battery move through the wire make the la the lamp light and go again to the battery there is it's it's closed right this circuit is closed because the electricity move to the battery and go to the wire and go to the light bulb again move okay if there is something or break in this circuit there is the lamp will not light so the circuit is closed path or way of electricity it's a path or the way or electricity what the meaning of path the way of electricity so the component of the electric circuits, it's a simple and we can uh, see it every day in our home. This is what the battery. The battery is the energy source in the circuit. So look to any battery at home. You are going to find two things at the terminal, positive and negative. There is positive, plus and minus. It's called positive and negative. This is the battery. And the second thing, there is a copper wire. You know the copper wire? We see it before, right? So this is connect the components together and it's made of copper and the copper, you remember the copper, it's metal. Allow the electricity to move through it. I need a material that make the electricity can move through it. This is called copper wire. This is called copper wire. And the third thing is the light bulb. This lamp is called light bulb. Okay, so if I have a battery and the wire, this light bulb will light. The fourth thing is called the switch. I can use it, okay, to turn on and turn off, to turn on the light and turn off the light. So, this is closed simple electric circuits. Its component is what again? The battery. Can you see the positive and the negative? And there is a wire. And there is a lamp, there is lamp holder so I can put the lamp inside it and there is a switch. Turn on the switch, the light bulb will light, turn off, it will, what? It will be off. So, look at this diagram. In A, I have a battery, wire and light bulb. But you know that this light bulb cannot light. Because what there is a break in the circuit here, 
there is what the wire is cut in A in the picture A this is incomplete circuit this is incomplete circuit because the electricity cannot travel through the bath okay cannot enter to the light pole it will stop so the light bulb will not light in B there is no battery look again yes in B I cannot find a source of electricity I need a battery there is no battery here so the lamp of course will not light because there is no battery imagine that you have a toy and you didn't put you didn't put anything inside the battery holder there is no battery it will work no so I need a source of electricity there is a battery so the electric device any electric electrical device like a toy like a machine like anything will not work if there is a break anywhere in the circuit look here the light bulb is broken it will light of course not and I'm going to use the switch it in safely break and complete the circuit so I'm going can I use a scissor and cut the copper wire of course I'm going to talk with electricity right so I'm going to use the switch to turn on turn off turn on turn off okay so thank you guys this is all about the electricity thank you